In this video, we're going to show you how seamlessly the native app you've been building turns into an HTML web app. When we switch over from the native version to the HTML web app version, you will see the same main menu. You can see that we've added some more interaction here. Drag the icons around and they will find their way back. It's just a little physics we've added to the icon menu. You can see though that the web apps are using the same app structure and the same functionality when we click on Twitter, for example. The web app version has some great new design features and animations, which we built using famous technology. You can decide to add new transitions like from screen to screen or from item to item in a data list. Let me show you. We have a screen here to which we'd like to add some animation. Let's have the screen coming in from the right. I'm upping the speed of the animation, and I'm rotating the animation a little in one way and out the other. I'd say that's looking pretty nice. Now, let's add some effects to a data list. This is our list of data. With these sliders, we enable the users to play around and slide the items around with fades and tilts on the axis. I'm going to experiment here for a little bit, as I'm sure you all will too. If we then look at the list of tweets again, you see these effects applied to the list in an HTML web app. Now I can grab the speakers list that I built earlier, and you can see that all the effects have been applied to the view as you browse through it. And you can see the changes applied when browsing through the individual speakers. These are some of the cool new features available in App Machine's web app building experience. We hope you like it and look forward to seeing your creations.